Scorpio, Amanda here. It's been a while. I'm glad to be back. So we're looking at your shape shift today. We're going to start, well, we're going to start with the card that's already come out in your pre-shuffle, which is Queen of Swords. And it felt really yes to me when it came out because I was already feeling Queen of Swords energy with you. I've been through all of the Zodiac up until you at this point, and I had to wait to do your reading until I was completely alone in the house. So there could be something interesting in that energy for you, especially with the Queen of Swords, emphasizing that energy of boundaries and space and like clearing the space in order to get clear. Um, of course, the Queen of Swords is also like being very direct and um, discerning with yourself and others. Not mincing words direct into the point um and again but but really it feels like this sword is being wielded at wielded as um space clearing it was like as soon as i had the house to myself for a few days and it's a snowstorm everything is very hunkered in queen of swords energy then now we can read for scorpio you know so we're going to put the Queen of Swords up here as our guide for the reading today. And we're going to start with a little inspiration. Let's get a little inspiration to start off this shapeshift for Scorpio. Inspiration, inspiration image. So the full picture, this is one half of the photo because it's a memory game. The full half of the picture is um, makes it clear that it's a bed in a hotel room with one of the towels folded up to look like a swan. The swan feels significant. Maybe that's a significant animal for some of you. And um, just this idea, again, like the space has been cleaned, cleared, and reset just for you. It's like the energy of going away to a, a hotel room is sometimes the energy of like, I just need a neutral space to get away and be by myself. One that has none of my stuff in it, that is like very minimally inhabited. That's interesting. Anything else to go with this? I think that's it. I think that stands alone. I'm going to say, yeah, those other cards don't have a whole lot of energy in them, but this one does. All right, let's look at your shape shift, Scorpio. I'm using the Poesis Oracle now and asking, what is the shape you're shifting out of? What is the shape that you are shifting into? And what does that shape shift look and feel like for Scorpio? Okay, intuition popping right up and out. We'll put that on the table and see what else wants to come through. Interesting that that didn't want to focus. When I held it up, it was blurry. Wow, so like really big, big picture cards are coming in here, Scorpio. Intuition and wisdom. A type of wisdom and knowing that is intuitive and... and um, like a felt sense. What is this? Observe. So with these three cards, and especially with the emphasis of the Queen of Swords, I mean, Queen of Swords and Observe, there really is something sort of um, stepped back about this energy like it's it's it, it's important to maybe at this time whatever situation you find yourself in just step back and observe and see what it is that you see I'm 
I'm trying to understand um, what the shape shift is here for you. I think it's from intuition into wisdom and this does not feel like a huge leap. Again, I, th I, I feel you sort of staying. It's not a big movement. It's, it's a, um, perpendicular motion. Um, it's not necessarily a, a gigantic growth curve. It's more of like keeping it on the level using everything you know about your own intuition to help you step back and see things from a more observational wisdom. I love how similar the hand positions are in the intuition and the wisdom card because again, you are not shifting shape all that much. Even the hands here in observe are very similar. It's almost like hold your ground. Actually, they're exact. Check that out. It's almost like if you were to look through this hand, is that what, yeah, mudra. If you were to look through this hand position, this is what you would see. There's something here for you to intuitively and objectively observe, Scorpio. And so it's almost like don't go anywhere unless you're going somewhere to be alone. That is certainly emphasized in this reading. But it's like you need to kind of step back. I can't tell if you need to step back into your own energy or step almost like out of your own energy and see this from an almost like um, spiritual perspective. It's almost um, being able to sort of jump uh, or uh, float above your body and view things from this much higher perspective and, and higher wisdom that is giving you the perspective you need to stay, to get clear and stay clear. <laughs> I'm even like doing the motion, um, which sucks that this is also like a freaking white supremacist symbol. So that's obviously not um, intended here with that motion, but I think what I like, and I don't know enough about um, this particular mudra as it is used in the yogic tradition. But what I like about how it feels as I'm doing it is the specificity and it's almost like creating this window, you know, or like lens th through which I can look. Yeah, that's even happening in the observe card. You're, you're getting this important viewpoint or lens or focus. If you can stay, I mean, this person is seated in meditation and that's how they're able to access this intuitive wisdom and um, point of view and observe in this particular way. Again, it's just, you are very much staying in place, getting some, clearing out space and getting some space maybe even like closing your eyes and focusing your sight. Actually, it's, it's sort of like you, your sight needs to be expanded and float above your situation. Maybe you're in a situation where you get very emotionally involved and so it's very hard to see. And so there's something here about needing to get above it so that you can see the full picture and that will actually then help you focus and hone in on what it is, the kind of intuitive wisdom that you must need at this time. All of the eyes, interesting, intuition and wisdom, all of the eyes are closed, all of the hands are you know, the knees are bent, the hands are in this praying, there is this meditative prayer position. And in that state of being, 
your sight is expanded and you will be able to see what you need to see. And again, those of you who will resonate with this image, if you need to get alone and you need to kind of get a reset of your space in order to be able to sit and see. Then get what you need with those boundaries. All right, let's get into this. We're going to clarify, continue clarifying with the dark exact. This very, very deep shift for you at this time. Okay, let's clarify this shape shift for Scorpio. I suppose let's start with the intuition so that we can sort of get get some clarity on what ha what you're tapping into in order to see whatever this is that you need to see. So clarity on, on, okay. If you've enjoyed the first part of this reading, I invite you to explore the whole thing with me for a season over at the shifting space. This spring, 2022, I'm testing out this new space devoted to experiencing the shifts more viscerally in connection with other people for the course of an entire season. I'm inviting no more than 30 folks to join this cohort of original founding members of the shifting space. This is a chance for me and you to shape the kind of virtual space we want to be a part of for months and years to come. We'll experiment with bi-monthly movement meetups to feel how our bodies are shifting, a community chat space where we can dish on the shifts, and a podcast where we'll connect the dots of all the revelations we're having throughout the season. If this sounds like what you're into, join me at this early stage of the shifting space. It'll never be more affordable than it is right now. And as a reward for your input at these early days of the space, you'll keep your original member rate for life. So come see what it's all about and watch the rest of your reading at unseenhandstarot.com.